Hey guys, okay, just want to do a quick review today of a couple things. So, first is this uh, patio shield by Thermacell. Uh, so basically, we're just it's for keeping mosquitoes away. Um, been using this thing for about a year now, and like it's awesome. So we have about an 800 square foot patio, um, like the actual stone patio area, and we're sort of in the country. Um, basically, that night the mosquitoes just kind of appear out of the grass. And uh, I found that just this one for the whole patio is great. Um, and it just uses these little pads. So the pad slides into the top there. And basically you put in a gas canister, which looks like these. And I'll show you one here. So when you buy the original one, I think it comes with one gas canister and three pads. Um, but basically there's butane in here. You just pop this cap off. Twist it into the bottom there. You can hear the gas release. And then I've got an old pad in the top here from last night. Um, but since we're going to be using one today, I'll put a new one in just to show you guys how it works. So they're little packages like this. And you probably don't want to touch, what, uh, touch what's on them. So usually I just open them up like this. Get it out, use the new pad to push out the old one. You just slide it in like that until it's somewhat centered. And basically all you're doing with the butane is just heating the heating this blue pad and it gives off some kind of mosquito repellent and it works really well. There's no smell. Um, obviously it's silent, uh, so you just place it down, uh, well upwind of where you are or just right in the middle of the patio whatever works and it creates a four and a half meter by four and a half meter zone which i think is pretty accurate uh, all i can say is it does actually work pretty well um so that led me to purchasing this one so this is kind of a newer version of it this one's more i think uh for camping purposes just because it uses a different fuel uh source so same type of fuel, isobutane, but you use these camping canisters. So they come, this one's woods, this is one of the bigger ones. You can get them taller or like sometimes they're the little pancake ones. So it's isobutane fuel and it's the same idea. It still has the same size pads, uh, so you can buy them in this uh, 24 pack. Um, but it just comes with the actual element, the heating element. So I haven't even opened this yet. I just thought it was a cool idea. Mostly because you can get big canisters of fuel, so you can go like, it says you can go up to like 12 hours on, on a canister. But again, it depends on the canister you're using. So, I got that just so it would last longer and I don't have to keep buying these little butane things. Because um, they can get a little pricey, but whatever, at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. So, let's open this up, check it out, and yeah, see what it's all about. So that's pretty sweet, got some instructions in there. So there's the unit, it's pretty well made. There's your starter it looks like, and the connection to the gas bottle there. Okay, so what's it come with? It comes with three pads. So again, it's the same pads as the as the other one, so you can kind of interchange them, which makes it nice. It's all thermosel products, and nice uh, little case there for because again, it's it's sort of directed towards campers. So you just put it in there and grab your fuel, and you're good to go. Um, okay, let's get this thing going. Okay, so pretty straightforward instructions: insert uh, repellent mat. Attach canister, uh, turn on, and wait approximately three to five seconds and slide the start tab upwards toward the grill until it clicks. Okay, so we'll open up our new canister. And do that. coming out. 
because that'd be crazy tight. Okay, and we'll grab one of our pads here. Yeah, so the same thing, blue pad. Slide that in there. Okay, turn to the side to the on off switch to the on position. I can hear the fuel flowing three to five seconds. Okay, okay, yeah, so I just hit the igniter there, and I don't know if you can see it, but I don't want to tip this. Let me tip the camera up. Okay, so now you can see there's a little like viewport in there. Where is it? Okay, yeah, you can kind of see the flame going through that little mesh screen there. So that's how you know it's going. And I can hear it hissing and yeah, there's a little bit of heat coming off it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so short of, you know, it being a bigger canister and all that, it's essentially the same idea as, uh, as this one here. Um, so yeah, all I can say, I'm not, this isn't like a paid placement or whatever. Just want to do like a quick review for anybody that's thinking about buying it. If you do have mosquitoes, uh, like I'm in Ontario, Canada, so I'm whatever mosquitoes population uh, or species is here, um, it seems to do the trick. And I've used this camping. Uh, we go camping in this one spot uh, sometimes during the year, and like the mosquitoes are out of control, and it does make them go away from your your immediate area. So, yeah, pretty awesome. If you guys got any questions or anything like that, just leave them in the comments. Hope that helped you guys out. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so I just want to show you the patio size. Like it's pretty good size so I keep one right there and one right under the table over here and that seems to keep mosquitoes away from this whole whole area which is nice so yeah works well